video, I'm going to give you some time management tips for preparing for the bar exam that will save you time and help you study efficiently. When you are studying for the bar exam, time is one of your most valuable resources. Because there never seems to be enough time when preparing for the bar exam, you want to use your time as efficiently as possible. The first tip is to identify and eliminate distractions. Distractions are everywhere. However, some people are more distracted by certain things than other people. For example, some people are easily distracted by social media. If you are one of those people, consider deleting the social media apps on your phone until the bar exam is over. Or, if you are easily distracted by your phone in general, consider putting it in a different room when you are studying or turning it off so that it is not a temptation for you. Other people might be distracted by friends dropping by or other social interactions. This can be hard to control, especially if you love being around people. If this sounds like you, consider blocking off periods of time in your schedule when you don't allow yourself to have visitors. But don't cut yourself off from people altogether. Just be intentional about when you interact with others so that those interactions don't take over your valuable study time. Eliminating distractions might mean changing where you study. If you usually study at a coffee shop and you find yourself chatting with other guests and spending too much time studying the menu, you might want to choose a location with fewer distractions, such as a desk at home or at a library. Some people have trouble studying at home because they are distracted by the TV, chores, pets, or other household members. Take a moment to think about where you study and try to find a location that eliminates as many distractions as possible. The second tip is to study when you study best. This means determining the time of day when you are the most alert and productive and planning to do your hardest work during that time. For example, although I like to wake up early, I am not as productive in the morning as I am in the early afternoon. Because memorization requires a lot of brain power, try to work on memorization during the time of day when you are the most alert and productive. If you are a night owl, you might be the most productive in the evening or at night. If so, plan to do your hardest studying tasks during the evening hours. If you are most productive late at night or in the very early morning, you might have the advantage of studying when there are fewer distractions. For example, fewer people calling, texting, and sending emails. One thing to note, particularly if you are a night owl, is that the bar exam starts in the morning and goes until the late afternoon. As you get closer to the bar exam, it is a good idea to start doing some practice MBE and essay questions during those hours so that your brain gets used to working during that time of day. Also, you may need to switch your sleeping hours so that you go to bed earlier and get up earlier. The third tip is to determine your learning style. People have different ways of learning new material. For example, if you are a visual learner, listening to lectures all day might not be as effective for you as it might be for someone who is an auditory learner. Many people have more than one learning style. Taking the time to determine your learning style can save you valuable time in the future as it can help you to become more efficient in your use of bar exam study resources. The fourth tip is if you feel comfortable with a subject, consider watching the lectures for that subject at one and a half or twice the speed. For example, if you did really well in torts in law school, and if after studying the outline, you understand the concepts and just need to memorize the outline, it might be a better use of your time to speed up those lectures to allow you more memorization time. Some people watch 
all their bar exam preparation lectures at double speed to save time. If that works for you, great. But if you have trouble keeping up at that speed, then slow it down. The point is, don't think that you have to spend the same amount of time on every subject. You can prioritize what you need to work on the most. The fifth tip is to focus on the highly tested subjects and prioritize the highly tested issues within each subject. Not all topics are tested equally on the bar exam, so you should not treat them all equally when you are studying. For example, topics such as negligence and hearsay are highly tested on the bar exam on both the essay portion and the MBE portion. You want to prioritize those areas of law that you are most likely to see and that will be worth the most points. The sixth tip is to stay away from time-consuming memorization techniques. For example, don't rewrite or retype your whole outline word for word. That is very time-consuming and is not a method of active review. Also, don't put every single word of your outline into flashcards. Again, creating flashcards is a very time-consuming process that generally yields little rewards. Students who have ignored this advice have told me that they regret making so many flashcards because they ended up not having enough time to use them all. Instead, use the outlines that you have and work on memorizing those, not rewriting them in some other form. The seventh tip is to spend some time at the end of each week reflecting on what worked and what didn't work. Some students wait until two weeks before the bar exam to discover that they wish they had not spent so much time watching lectures or that they have not spent enough time memorizing their outlines. Those realizations are not very helpful right before the bar exam. To avoid that situation, spend a few minutes each week assessing what is helpful with your bar exam preparation and what is not. Keep in mind that just because something is working for your friends does not mean that it is necessarily working for you. It is all right to switch gears and embrace an approach that will better serve your needs. And the earlier you realize this, the easier it will be for you to make the change and for it to positively impact your bar exam preparation.